So you developed your critical thinking skills to a higher degree. And you were no longer afraid to take chances, to be innovative. Being able to push yourself physically, mentally, maybe emotionally beyond what you might have expected yourself to be capable of. But Columbia said in their approach to it that there is more to it. You give to us and we learn from you. And we want to be able to give back to you. Leslie W. Selden, DDS, Doctor of Dental Medicine, 66. Columbia still does design its education around the, the, um, the fact that you are a dentist, but more than a dentist, you're a healthcare practitioner uh, that has to interact with and be part of the entire healthcare community. So you were constantly being challenged, not treated with necessarily warmth and caring, although inside every professor's heart, I think they were doing it because they thought that you would turn out better for being challenged. We started out with a class of 40. We graduated 27. I became the editor-in-chief of the Dental Columbia in the annual yearbook and worked like a dog. Looking back at it yesterday, that's a pretty good publication. I was pretty proud of what we did. My father was a dentist, uh, and a very fine one, and, and, and enjoyed and was committed to the profession. And so his heritage and his allegiance was to Columbia. What he taught me is that you have to give back. I now chair the Board of Visitors for the school. I think that the greatest satisfaction was working um, on reestablishing uh, the bond between the older alumni and the school. My wife and I contributed uh, to establishing a scholarship in our name, uh, and each year one student is selected to receive the benefits. When Dean Lamster opted to, uh, to move on, the uh, medical center, the university, uh, put together a search committee of 15 individuals. Uh, and there were three, only three dentists uh, on this group. Uh, and I felt very honored to be uh, asked to be one of them. It was very heartwarming and exciting to realize that you were gonna be honored, not by your dental school alone, but by this enormous university uh, of, of great importance in the world. So uh, I was blown away. Roxana. I am sassy. Nursing, 92. Nursing, 11. Columbia changed my life in many ways, um, but I think the biggest points that come to my mind is that it made me a critical thinker. I was accepted into the DMP program, and everything that I had experienced in the master's program the attention and making sure that each student excels, doesn't give up, is what I was exposed to. Each time I came back to a reunion or to event, that New York rhythm, that pace, that diversity, that drive, it was like I was being recharged each time. I became the president for two terms and um, I worked closely with the development, officer, uh, development office and we're moving forward in a very positive way. We must now get the journalism school connected to the nursing school, the law school connected to the nursing school, because there are nurses that write beautifully. There are people that maybe are nurses that have some very good legal questions about what's going to happen in January 2014 when the Affordable Care Act goes on. Please meet the candidates of the 2013 graduating class of the School of Nursing. I'm very proud of this award, but this award is not about me. It's because of the nursing school alums and the non-alums, who will be alums, work together to make the School of Nursing a real community. Stephen L. Buckman, Columbia College 59, Law 62. I tended to be, before Columbia, a black and white 
sort of viewer of the world. Things were either yes or no, up or down, black or white. But Columbia really taught me to see grays. And college was a growth time, an exploration time, a time of, of enlargement in a lot of different ways, whereas law school was a more narrow and a more training-oriented preparation for what was to come later. And I had never fenced before uh, and thought it looked romantic, and Cyrano de Bergerac was my favorite play at the time. So I went to the NCAA's two years, which was amazing for someone who just played stickball in the Bronx, and all of a sudden you're fencing with the elite uh, college fencers in the country. Uh, and I was second in the nation twice. So we had a very active alumni group who went down to fence with the undergraduates once a week. Uh, we fenced with them, didn't have the same skills they had, but our strategy and tactics may have been a little more developed, and we called ourselves the Rusty Blades. So I attended a very early uh, Columbia College Alumni Association meeting that uh, interested me in the broader aspects of, one, what, of what one could do as an alum. Another colleague and I met two black students and asked them, started to ask them about their experience at the college, how they had done, how they were doing. One of them said to us, we're not eating. And we were thunderstruck. And they said, our parents are relatively poor. They give us a very small budget for food. And we're through that budget in two or three weeks, four weeks. So we're subsisting on ketchup sandwiches and tea. So that's how my activity started. And as you can see, I get a little emotional about it. Uh, because it was such a moving experience and one that indicated what could be done by interested, objective, well-intentioned alumni. They are ready to join you, Mr. President, as well as Jack Weinstein and Steve Buckman as graduates of Columbia Law School. There were times when I thought I was going to have a heart attack during this thing. The dean of the law school, when he presented the class, ended his remarks remarking about uh, Judge Weinstein and myself being uh, recipients of the medal, I was overwhelmed, absolutely overwhelmed.